Malaika. Good afternoon to you. Can you briefly introduce yourself and your organization? Well, my name is Malaika Oringo. I'm based in the Netherlands. I'm the CEO of a foundation called Footprint of Freedom. It's a survival-led organization that works to end fight human trafficking by also uh, empowering women to take the front line in the fight against human trafficking. Well, first thing first, mm. you explained to me that there's a strong connection between climate change and human trafficking. Yes. Can you explain? Uh, this is uh, understudied and underrated and under-researched, but there is a big connection between climate change and human trafficking. One, it causes displacement of people, it causes forced migration, it causes disruption of communities, and also uh, women loses, lose social ties with their families. And one of the major reasons why human trafficking uh, exists is kind of preying on vulnerability. So climate change accelerates uh, vulnerability among women and men. And um, another thing is that um, it kind of disassociates the community, which breaks down, which breaks down the community social cohesion and solidarity. So the solidarity, and people lose in in, in their way of losing uh, properties, um, also their mental health uh, issues. They end up becoming more vulnerable to human trafficking. Today, we have 50 million people uh, all over the world impacted by human trafficking, and we see that. 71% of the impacted population are women and girls, which becomes a gendered issue. So this connection is far more clear that if we do not type in the drives to vulnerability that is caused by climate change, human trafficking flourish. What does your organization uh, do uh, to prevent that or to tackle that issue? Yeah, in light with the climate change crisis and intervention, today we are launching our new program that is called Footprint to Sustainability. The aim is to promote, protect, and create community resilience using uh, four inter interlinked projects. That is food, uh, food and security sustainability uh, training, uh, fashion, kind of sustainability and fashion, uh, and climate literacy. There is also trash to treasure. All these projects are interlinked in the way that they are promoting education literacy and also it empower, empowers the community to take uh, a whole community approach in order to combat human trafficking as well as being aware of their uh, behaviors on climate change. I wish you all the best for this new project. Thank you very much. Thank you.